I would like to tell you about three prophetic visions that my son had, uh, starting at the age of five. And uh, they regard um, the return of the Lord, the rapture, and the uh, coming judgment from the Lord God. So, I first would like to say that my son already knew Jesus before anybody told uh, him about it. Um, one day we were talking about the old like Viking gods and I described different type of gods in different pantheons of different ancient civilizations. But I told him like that's kind of demonic stuff, there's only one God in reality. And he said to me, yeah I know that, that's Jesus. And I asked him, have anybody told you that before? Because I hadn't, because I started to come to faith. And he said, no, no, uh, I just know it in myself. So, anyhow, this um, December on 26th, we had uh, some family members over, and um, he was drawing in a sketchbook. And he has got it as a uh, Christmas gift, and he made a portrait of everybody who was there. All of the family members got a portrait and also absent family members. And then he concluded it with one more portrait. And he said, you know who this is? And that was Jesus with wings. So then I asked him, how did you come up this, with this idea with Jesus with wings? Have, any, have you ever seen anything like that? He said, no, he never seen anything like that or heard anything like that. So how did you come up with this idea? And he said that uh, the Lord talks to him by showing him images in his mind. So I asked him, is this like Jesus, like as he rose up on the third day, flying upwards with his wings? No, no, it's not like that, he says. He's flying towards us. And also, a thing that was interesting, he said, Jesus doesn't have a beard. So, so it would be a different time than when he was on earth, right? So this takes us to the second vision. We then asked him, have you ever heard anything about that the Lord might return someday? No, he said, never heard anything about it. So I said, can we, can we pray and see if, if he gives you an image about that? And we do that, and immediately he gets the image. He says, that's the word in like your book there. I have a very thick, hundreds of years old Bible. In an old Bible, like that, there's one word, he says. And, uh, but I can't read it. So I get kind of frustrated because I was an excellent reader already then at the age five. So how, what do you mean you can't read it? And I ask for letters, he says there's six different letters, and I ask for letters that appear in rapture, or in the Swedish word upprikkelsen, or in arpasso, which means the same. So I ask for an R, there's no R, he said. Okay, so I ask for a P, no P, he says. So I ask for a U, he says there's no U. So said, are you sure? And maybe kind of like a like a U that is like, maybe a double U would use, but maybe not really, he says. Okay, so are there any letters that you can understand? And maybe he says like an A, this is a Swedish letter with two like dots or two streaks about. But no, it's not really that either. Uh, and the other letters, I can't make anything out, he says, but they are real letters, they are not symbols, how the evil people write with symbols, it's not like that, but I can't really. And I said, are you really serious? You, can, you must be telling the truth. He says, I'm telling the truth. And then later the other day, I find out that this is the Greek spelling in Greek letters that he was describing of the word Arparso, which really has uh, this type of similar W and the, the one that is a little bit similar to the Swedish I. It has six letters. And I shown him the word he said, yeah, that's the word I saw. But it was, uh, I saw he saw it in handwriting. So he described the, the word arpaso, which is First uh, Thessalonians 4.17, the one, the word where you get rapture stemming from. So that was the second uh, vision he had. The third vision, I call this vision because it led me to a strange kind of confirmation, I would say. Picked him up from school one day, he had a library card. The number is something I could sh sh change. It was uh, 0217, but I didn't want to change it. It's 217, it's from Acts 217. That verse is really on my mind every day, so that was the perfect number. Anyhow, I didn't think about that. Three days later, 
he makes a booklet where he draws uh, images and writes about God. And on one of the pages he says it's God, and God says in his writing that there's too many evil things on Earth, and he uh, draws the planet with two continents and people on it, and two incoming objects in the sky, like comets. And I said, what is that? Like comets, he said, yeah, to bring judgment. Uh, you know, like that's how the dinosaurs ended. I said, where did you get this idea to, to draw this? Have you ever heard anything about stuff like that? No, he said, no, it just came to me. And I wouldn't tell anybody if it wasn't for the, what the thing that this led me to. So I kind of forgot it. But a couple of days later, I happened to stumble upon a clip where this two moons prophecy regarding the timing of the rapture appeared. And the reason I looked at it was because I have seen in the paper a couple of days earlier that we now have two moons in the sky. This asteroid called 2024 PT5. Now, um, what is interesting then is I found out that this asteroid came on September 29, being regarded as a second moon. And he drew this picture with these two objects in the sky on September 29. So that kind of shook me a little bit and it made me want to look more into the two moons videos. So I watched many videos and I found one video where they have described and made an animation of orbits between the two moons. And I found out that these orbits match this asteroid we have in the sky now. So this timing is set now, November, late November, around November 25. So that's what's kind of what ended up from, from actually his drawing that I dived into this and found this. So that's another video, you may want to watch this. Um, so thank you for listening, and God bless you all. Uh, really seek the Lord, fast, pray, repent, get ready. Thank you, goodbye.